driving down uh, Route 29 in New Jersey. To my right is the Delaware River. On the other side of that is Pennsylvania. The, um, if you come up around the bend, you'll probably see the river. But anyway, I was uh, thinking about it and wondering why the uh, ATF, for example, could just decide this is a machine gun something that was never a machine gun. Suddenly it's a machine gun and a bunch of people are uh, in big trouble for having machine guns that are not really machine guns. And the best that I could figure is that when agencies like the FDA were uh, doing, you know, approving and disapproving things, for example, if they want to, uh, you know, me and a couple friends decide we're going to extract poison venom from spiders and sell it as a cure for baldness. It's got to be tested. And um, so we have something, we test it on bald mice and they all die, and we test it on bald rats and they all die because it's poisonous spider venom. And we submit to the FDA and they're like, no, you, you can't do this. But who are they to tell me I can't do this in marketing? So. Congress would have had to pass a bill saying, no, Walt and his friends, spider venom hair tonic is uh, is against the law. You can't you can't sell that. So to the agencies doing their job don't have to uh, go to Congress and burden them with you know a bunch of little one line laws on a daily basis. They got the okay to uh, basically make law. Um, and to an extent that makes sense. But then you uh, fast forward when everything is politicized and they really don't have that right to uh, just arbitrarily start writing law, which is what a lot of agencies are doing right now. A lot of regulatory agencies are doing. It doesn't matter if it's the EPA or the FDA. Uh, ATF, you know, they're all, you know, they're, they're really supposed to be formed for guidance for Congress, not as, a, as an equal to Congress. But uh, on researching where laws really come from, the, uh, the best example that I think everybody can understand is, you can, you can YouTube it, is uh, Schoolhouse Rock. And the video is called I'm Just a Bill, and it explains very, very clearly how laws are made. And the piece of paper starts out a bill on Capitol Hill, and he explains how he got there, and then the Congress debates it, and they pass it, and then he moves up to the Senate, and the Senate debates it, and they pass it, and then he goes up to the President, and the President signs him, and he becomes a law. And it's, it's great. It's an awesome thing. I remember watching it back in back in the early, early 70s, 72, 73, whenever they had it, were running that stuff. But it reminded me how simple the system is supposed to be. And it's uh, it's very nice that the Supreme Court, some of these cases against these agencies, these regulatory agencies, and uh, are starting to be challenged in court, in the Supreme Court, is, uh, is, is taking their authority away because it really is being abused. But uh, I suggest everybody takes a refresher course and watches Schoolhouse Rock, I'm Just a Bill. Because anything that any agency comes up with really isn't, really isn't anything you need to follow. Honestly, there is nothing you have to follow unless Local congressman presents it to Congress. They pass it. it. Goes to the Senate. The Senate debates it. They pass it. Hand it up to the president, and the president signs it. And if they can't do that, well, I don't know what the hell we have a Congress for. I don't know what we have a Senate for. I think everybody knows my feelings on the president. Anyway, you'll have a great day.